Hi, this is Dr. Kiel Goldfarb with Water and Sports Physical Therapy. Today we're here to talk about tendon and muscle tears. First, let's talk about what they are and how to rehab them. A muscle and tendon tear is when the musculotendinous junction, so if we take a body part here like the bicep, and we look at the bicep, it's usually where the muscle and tendon meet. So the tear most likely occurs here. Same thing in other parts of the body. Tricep, same idea. It occurs down in this area here. So, what happens is an overexertion of the muscle, usually during an eccentric contraction, which is a slowing down of motion. So when you're running, you'll be running backwards and trying to stop yourself from running and your calf slows you down and you end up having a tear at that junction. Now, usually you feel severe pain. If you feel a pop, that usually means a rupture. So if the tendon's intact, you will have a contraction. You'll be able to contract that muscle. If you can't contract that muscle, you better make sure you see a professional. If you have a full contraction, but it's painful, likely is that you tore partially that tendon slash muscle belly. If that's the case, it's very important. Most important thing is do not stretch. The, the natural tendency is to stretch that muscle and if you do that, what ends up happening is you tear the collagen further and we don't want to do that. So for example, let's go back to the Achilles tear. Um, we'll have Casey stand up here and show us a gastroc stretch. Normally what people do is they go right into a stretch for the gastroc and they'll feel the pull right where they tore that muscle and tendon. If you feel that pull, you're tearing that tendon further. And if you do that too much before you return to sports without rehabbing correctly, you're going to further tear and cause more damage. The key is what you want to do is you want to rest it. First 24 to 48 hours, you do want to rest. Inflammation is important. That starts the healing process. That allows new tissue to come in and fill that area so it can properly contract in the future. Then you want to start contracting the muscle. So but for Casey in the beginning, we'll do heel raises. So Casey's going to do two leg heel raises. Very simple. If that's pain free, that's a good start. This is a normal range of motion. The next step would be go on a step so he's actually stretching it as he's contracting it. Then he's going on lengthening. That lengthening phase is important before you return to sports. The third part is to stretch it with full motion. So you actually, Casey would go back and try to stretch it as he's contracting the muscle and try to pop off again. Go back to stretch it and then try to push off again. People who return to sports within a two week period after a serious muscle or tendon injury usually have a reoccurrence of injury. So if you do have a significant tear, get it evaluated by your physical therapist or doctor. Make sure it's not a rupture and then go through the rehabilitation process properly. If you make sure you follow the correct staging, take your time, get as much blood flow in that muscle as possible, remove any scar tissue by multiple techniques, could be ART, could be Graston, could be myofascial decompression cupping, could be deep soft tissue massage, and if you follow that up with the correct exercises, concentric exercises where you're shorting the muscle to eccentric where you're lengthening it, and you follow that process, there's a much less likely to, likelihood of injury. If you have any questions, feel free to check us out at waterandsportspt.com.